Hi everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swan. Today I'm showing you how to make this very easy baby blanket. Super soft because it's made from uh, minky and topped with this beautiful cotton fabric. It, this is the best baby gift ever. This project I'm using minky by Shannon, super soft minky. This is measuring 36 by 38. 36 because it's just easy to measure and remember it's just a yard cut and 38 I added just a couple of inches to make it less square and this adorable fabric it's by Camelot Fabrics it's called Fairy Vell uh, as a hundred percent cotton for the top of the blanket and of course it also measured 36 by 38 inches. Lay the cotton piece on top of the minky piece with right sides facing each other and keep in mind that minky does not like to be moved a lot it just it tends to fray a lot and it gets a kind of uh, wavy while you move it so just keep it in place get your pins and pin all around leaving an opening of six to seven inches to flip the blanket out. When you pin, move in one direction. Not pinning here and there some. Just keep it in one direction until you pin the whole blanket so you reduce the, uh, the fabric shifting possible. So here it is all Pinned. and here is where I put the marks for the opening so you don't sew between the marks here is the first and here is the second and you just take it to your sewing machine and sew it with one inch seam allowance all the way from the start to the end and don't forget to back stitch while sewing make sure that you have the entire blanket on the top on the top of the desk or the uh, uh, the surface you are placing your sewing machine on so it does not get droop by the weight of the blanket if you have a walking foot that would help a little but you don't really need it to sew this project if you don't have it just go slower and start at one of the opening marks that you have marked previously if you don't have if you don't have a seam allowance mark, I have the quarter and the half and the full inch. If you don't have, you can just place a tape at the one inch seam as a guide for you. Next stitch. Use your roller and when you are one inch from the end, you just stop the needle at the one inch. I still have a few stitches to go. Here I am. So, left your presser foot with your needle down and turn your fabric so carefully so you can uh, maintain the one inch seam allowance on all the sides this way line it with the one inch seam mark that you have in your machine lower your piece of foot and go you do this at every corner before reaching every corner you check for one inch before and you turn your fabric so here I have sewn it all around and just few inches before the second mark of the opening. So 
So you just stop there and backstitch. But before you flip it out, go to the corners and just cut this fabric like a triangle to reduce the bulk when you flip it out so your corners point out nicely be careful not to cut through your stitching and now do this for all the corners and flip it out and here it is flipped out and looking beautiful make sure you flip the corners with your fingers or with a flipping tool pointing out nicely And now we have the opening to finish here. You just pin it, line the fabric with the minky, use your pins to keep them in place and just top stitch. You will top stitch the entire blanket with quarter of an inch seam allowance. It will give it a nice look and will help Finish the opening in a professional way, like this. And remember, this time you need a coordinating uh, thread because the inside seam is not shown. But this one will be top stitching. And you, and you, the opening is finished beautifully. I used two colors, one to match the cotton and one to match the um, the minky two thread colors and you are all done beautiful gift idea just ready to give i hope you liked this tutorial and find, found it useful please give give me a thumbs up and share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet for the future tutorial and see you next time